Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Dani and today's video I'm gonna show you how to knit this super easy, beautiful and cute um, bandana bead. It's a super easy and fun project and it's super stylish. I really love how it turned out. Um, you can make it just to style your baby or to use it as a little neck warmer if you'd like or you can make it more functional and use cotton yarn for um, a more like I said functional bib so <laughs> now let's see what you need to make this super adorable bandana bib so you will need a 5 millimeter knitting needles I'm using the circular needles by Clover today's video is in collaboration with them but you can also use uh, straight needles if you like you will also need scissors a tapestry needle and something to secure and close your bib I'm gonna be using a button but if you want to use velcro or another kind of button or snap you can also use that and you will also need a category for yarn I'm using Heartland by Lion brand and you can use any kind of um, yarn so to begin we're gonna start with a slip knot and this is going to be right away in the first stitch of the first row so that's gonna make it super easy for us to know what row are we in so this will be row number one we have one stitch on the needles so for row number two we're gonna increase one and how we do this it's knitting the front of the stitch and knitting the back as well so now we have two stitches on the needles that's row number two for row number three we're going to knit the first stitch we're working with garter stitch by the way knit the first stitch and we're gonna do the increase in the second stitch of every single row so go to the second one and increase one so knit the front and the back so this is row number three you should have three stitches on your needles now you get the sequence so now for a row number four we should have four stitches on our needles so for row number four knit the first stitch increase in the second stitch knit the front and the back and knit the last stitch just regular as just one so now we have four um, stitches on the needles row number five I think you guys got the sequence already knit the first one increase in the second one and then continue knitting normal so this is gonna be super helpful because the amount of stitches that you have on your needles um, will tell you the row that you are in so that's gonna be super easy if you have previously made the Miraki shawl that it's a pattern of mine that I made last year you are already familiar with this method that I like to do for a basic triangle so now you're gonna repeat this sequence until you have 52 um, stitches on your needle so that would mean that you are in row number 52 so continue doing this until you have those 52 stitches on your needles
so when you're done you should have something like this so to show you a little bit um, why I decided to get it until or to stop at row 52 I have in here a bandana that I got gifted at my baby shower <laughs> so I used this as a template so that's why I stopped at um, row 52 but if you want to make it bigger longer um, you can go ahead and continue knitting until you have you know the um, size that you want and in here you can see my triangle measures eight inches and a half eight and a half inches or 22 centimeters so um, now we're gonna do five rows of ribbon and to do the ribbon stitch we just knit one and purl one knit one purl one knit one purl one and I'm gonna do this for um, two rows and in the third row I'm going to make a small hole for my button so here I am in the third row of my ribbon so I'm going to knit the first stitch purl the second one yarn over and continue knitting and then purl one and continue this sequence all the way down and then for the fourth row of the ribbon I'm gonna show you how I do it so here um, again back where I did the yarn over so I'm gonna just turn it and knit those two together and so now I have in here a small hole but you can skip this if you want to put another different thing to close your bandana you can use like I said a velcro you can use a snap another kind of button it's up to you so now for uh, when we're done with the five rows ribbon we're just gonna bind off and we do this by knitting one purling one and then um, bring the second stitch over the first one just like this and just make sure that whenever it's a purl stitch you purl that stitch and then bind off same with the knitting when there is a knitted, knitted stitch you knit that stitch and then bind off and also keep in mind to do this as loose as possible because if we do it super super tight this um, ribbon is not gonna be as elastic and it's gonna be super tight around your baby's neck and we do not want that so try to do it as loose as possible so we get that effect that super elastic effect so keep that in mind and now all you have to do is sew your button or again a snap velcro or if you don't want to put anything like that you can also tie um, a string of yarn and maybe make a little braid and you can then just attach it or, or make a, a knot in the back I don't know you can then use your imagination and use whatever method you like to close and secure your bandana this is totally optional it's gonna be whatever is more convenient for you whatever is easier for you and of course when you are done make sure to weave in all your ends So we have the ones in the side and then the one at the bottom in here so go ahead whip that in and cut the tail and when you're done this is how your bandana should be looking like like I said it's a very simple project you are gonna use super little amount of yarn and it's super versatile like i mentioned before if you wanted to use it more like a 
to clean your baby you can use cotton yarn or in the winter you can use wool it totally depends and I also think that these bandanas will make a super cute baby shower gift so you can make a pack of two or three and gift it in a baby shower I think it's a very nice and cute idea uh, we all know that handmade it's beautiful so please go ahead and make it in different colors sizes whatever you like so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up so then we show youtube that my videos are interesting <laughs> and it's gonna show it to more people so i would really appreciate that and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you're gonna get notifications every time i upload a new video and i will also um, leave the links to all the materials and the reading pattern in the description box below Thank you again to Clover for collaborating with me in this video and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye!